So set to get for this final game of the championships. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast live and exclusive on Fox Footy. We're underway. And there is Nguyen, who uh, is an exciting talent. He gets the first knock, but uh, Western Australia go forward. Ben Keyes. Cleaning up. And he looks into the middle, and he's got a couple of options. The second right in the... One. Yeah, he picked the right to Pal Pepper. Trying to keep it in. Does so. Did okay. Yep, they Clark. worked it out nicely. Clark trying to draw the man to give it to Petrovsky Seaton, but he sold the dummy. Now he can give it over the top to Waterman. Waterman. Just pushed away from the footy. Well done by Clark. Second effort, third effort by yeah, Clark. Played. And he so won a free, free kick because yeah, he just deserve. burrowed in. <laughs> Greg Clark. Smart footballer. I'll get a different view to me, but yep. uh, that's that's my view. Status quo for mine. Yeah. Jager, Status just to quo. talk on Jager. Uh, at 70 years of age, yeah, he starred for, for WA. Absolutely starred. Made all the... Clark fished it out. Mountford should get there first. We'll see them get better and better uh, next year in the championships. They haven't um, been at their best this year, but um, next year with players like Pal Pepper, Petrovsky Seaton, Josh Rotham, Jeremy Goddard, Luke Schnadeker, there's some really good young 17 year olds uh, who are going to be. Uh... Did the other day, but not much today. Well, that's, that's some really good defensive stuff. Yep. Clark has it for WA, shot the handball out, hoping someone could run onto it. First, he does to a certain extent. The handball in board's not a good one. Schnadeker misses it, but second effort was good to get it back. Over to Clark. Clark just had to stop and wait. Cole comes in for Victoria. A couple of. <laughs> Here's Harold just <laughs> <laughs> kick across the ground. Rogers. Uh, you how many people. Yeah. You're not naming names, though. I'm not naming any. Years, uh, since they'd won the championship, and gee, that, that side there five years ago, just among them, Adam Trelaw, Dyson Heppel, Luke Parker, Luke Delhouse, Tommy Lynch were just some of the players. But normally, when you win a championship, you'll produce 15 odd draftees, and you'll there'll be six or seven ends up stars of the game. Um, and we've probably gone over those names in the last couple of hours. Twenty-three scoring shots to eleven. Uh, but big country uh, five behinds in this last quarter. High ball up. Weedering, he's got. Shapes is a couple of good drafts in a while, in a row, I should say. Here's Clark, the skipper for WA. And he got the first kick away. Uh, the half back line uh, in the championship so far for WA, but today starting forward. Clark gets up and under it. Out they come. Everybody. Good contest, though. Uh, a lot of people lead out to nine. And we've got a minute to go in this first quarter. Cunningham caught. Clark can't quite get there. Gresham over the top of him. Clark worked all up. Big spoil. It was a clever spoil in the end, too, wasn't it? It came from um, Pal Pepper in Division One. But here goes WA. When you're identifying talent, I, I remember Angus Brayshaw back at the 16s. Goddard just miss hitting that. Comes to Clark. Tumbles it forward. Lucky bounce here, maybe for Archie. WA. Yeah. Hackett was He's in there good. again. He's been very good. Yeah. Um, if, you're, if you're one of those smaller type players, you have to be able to mark it overhead. WA go forward again. And, uh, New Zealand, and I couldn't have been more impressed with his attitude, his personality. As Mick mentioned earlier in the broadcast, he was the captain of our Australian under 17 side. So certainly has some throwing himself at the footy here at the start of this uh, third quarter. Really smart play from Petrovsky uh, Seaton initially, just with the time and space to be able to set that up. And Chance here for Jones. Slipped it over, and that kick is just going to score to be the first score for the day. And it come off the boot of Greg Clark. By Stewart trying to break free, gets away from the tackle. In front of Clark, now sits for him, he gets through, he's got to beat two tacklers. Ending for him. Smith still got it. Clark. Clark keeps it low. This is a promise anyway, but they've got it back again. Mountford. Taylor. And onto the chest of Clark, who's been busy, the captain. They're playing a different role, actually. A bit of a lead-up role. Yeah. Program. Really good young talent. He's, he's one to watch over the next 18 months. He's done some good things already. Uh, uses the ball well. And just the handball there was going to go through from Daniels to Stewart. But eventually it's Clark who gets it to the goal square. Promising movement here. And that's a forward 50 it goes. Daniels got it over. The kick towards. It bounces. Oh, oh it bounces through. 
That was Greg Clark, the captain. Clark, he's kicked that. That's bounced through from nowhere. So they get the opening goal of the third quarter, courtesy of that good bounce for Clark. Daniels handed it off to him, and WA get one back. It's been a scrappy start, Matty, yeah. in the third quarter. I know Vic Metro got their dominance from some overlap running carry and taking the ball inside forward 50 as fast as they could. They've been a bit more patient at the start of this third quarter, uh, and WA have taken advantage of that with their first inside 50 of the quarter. Uh, Greg Clark getting a captain's goal. So Clark, he's had uh, nine disposals, and that's his first goal. The switch here to Schoenfeld through the middle by hands. It goes back there to um, Clark. Kick nondescript, really. ...to the start of. They just play the three rounds Division 2. So we, uh, we go up to Queen. Harold. Clark. It wasn't Harold. Performance like this, shooting a player really high up the draft order. Oh, gee. A little bit of a turnover has been forced here. Now played, and here's that man again that I was talking about, Schoenfeld. Gives the handball across. Good releasing handball as well. Now the kick comes inside. Just look to bring it out quickly on this occasion. And Clark, who has also direct, just comes in board. That's okay. Comes back now to Clark via Mountford. And nice little kick early in this game, Kevin, but has obviously drifted back. Yeah, Dylan Smith has got that capability of uh, playing key forward as the lead-up target. ...of West Coast, hasn't it, that uh, everyone was a bit worried once Eric McKenzie went down, but... You've won seven out of nine games. It's been a fantastic start to the season for the Eagles. Yeah, the boys have been terrific, Tom. Um, I've Fine Shaw. He's also been impressive at times in this game. Greg Clark has the football now. He comes across the face of goal. Ball bounces and pitches for Mountford. Quite fortuitously, Shaw's there and could take the mark, but he lets it go in the end. And It's going to work out OK here for the Sand Gropers because Clark has got the football once more. So just on the half-back flank, drives it up the line there and goes. I guess that's one of the things which we spoke about with Hamish Rowan is that even though they're 17 and they can't be drafted this year, you still have to take fairly extensive long kick coming up towards centre wing. And look at the mark. That's a magnificent catch there from Taylor. Oh, that's the highlight of the day. Jake Taylor, how good was that? Goes inside 50. That was exciting stuff. Ball spills to ground, snap around the body, and that's pretty good as well. Boy, a solid day. Had a real uh, captain's game, I thought, uh, Greg Clark. Uh, over the four quarters, he racked up 23 disposals. I love in particular the way he distributed the ball by hand. He's got terrific vision and execution. Uh, great decision maker in that area. He's a difficult matchup too. He plays as a tall midfielder and he's a 193 centimetre boy uh, with a huge tank. He's a 15 beeper as well. So uh, he, he used that running capacity on the, uh, the Medibank Stadium very, very well. He even chipped in for a very clever goal uh, right on the three-quarter time siren showing him ability up forward. He's a boy from Subiaco on the waffle. Uh, he's from Sorrento Dun Craig football club.